In this video today, we're going to learn how to join a CSV file to a shapefile using data from the Aero Data Store. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Aero Data Store and I'm going to download my shapefile. The shapefile I'm going to use today is the All Island Small Areas Shapefile. To download this, I'm going to click on Shape. When this is downloaded, I'm going to open it up and I can see all the different components to my shapefile. Now that I have my shapefile downloaded, I'm going to download my CSV file. The CSV file we're going to use today is the All Island Population Data. And to download this, I'm going to click on CSV. When this is downloaded, I'm going to open it up in Excel and just have a quick look at it. So in this data set, we've got unique identifiers, the geography ID and the Aero AI ID. This is the unique identifier that we're going to base our join on. We also have other data such as the ED ward, the small area it sits within, the code, county, as well as country. Our attribute data includes total population by gender, density, as well as age groups and dependency ratios. I'm going to close this file now. And now I'm going to open up QGIS. We're going to use QGIS to join the shape file we've just downloaded to the CSV file. In QGIS, first of all, I'm going to add my vector file. That's my all island small areas boundary set. I'm going to use the add vector layer button. I'm going to choose browse. And from my downloads folder, I'm going to change my file of type to Esri shapefiles. And I'm going to select AI underscore SA and click open and open again. This is my all island vector shapefile. If I right click on the name of the layer list and go to open attribute table, I can see here I've got an Aero AI IT column. This corresponds to the one in the CSV file. And this is the column we're going to base our join on. Next, I need to add the CSV file. To do that, I'm going to use the Add Deliminated Text Layer button. And choose the Browse button. And from my Downloads folder, I'm going to choose Population. The file format is CSV. There's no geometry. I'm going to click OK to open up the attribute, to the open up the Poppy file. I'm going to right click on the name of the layer list. And here's our Aero AI ID that the join will be based on and all of the attribute data we've already viewed in Excel. To join the CSV file, I'm going to right click on the All Island Small Areas, go to Properties. In the Properties dialog box, I'm going to choose the Joins tab. Click on the plus. Our join layer is Population. The join field will be Aero AI ID and the target field is Aero AI ID. Click OK. Apply. OK. Now right click now and go to Open Attribute Table of the Shapefile. We now have all our joined attribute data.